Today is a good rainy, wet Oregon day. There isn't a whole lot that I have to do out here. I've already made sure the chickens have food and water, as well as the quail. I've refilled that rabbit's water. Today's a good day to talk inside about the chicks that we have that just hatched. If the rain does let up here, I'll probably work some more down in our ravine on that storm debris. And I really should grab a whole nother big can of weed snacks for our chickens out for the run. little chickens have been hatching in our incubator for just a little over 24 hours. We had two at the very beginning and the rest hatched a little bit later. They're ready to move over to our brooder. I've already got their food and water set up but most importantly I've got the chick warmer pre-warmed up and ready for them to go. We don't think any more of these eggs will hatch, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take the lid off of this incubator and quickly transfer the chickens into this cardboard box and then put the lid back on and we'll leave the incubator plugged in so that the temperature and humidity can stay constant just in case any of those other eggs do hatch. I'm not sure how many chickens are in there. We'll find out right now. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little chickens so far. That's better than a fifty percent hatch rate. So that's pretty good. I see a little pip in this one. It, it actually might, might hatch.
there's some warmth right under there. There you go. Water. And there's some warmth down there. You're a chunky little one. Yes, you are. That tenth egg never did hatch, but nine out of seventeen isn't too bad. These little guys are getting out and exploring a little more. They're eating more than they used to. They don't eat nearly as much as those Cornish Cross meat chickens that we raised recently. All of those meat chickens have been processed and are in our freezer. We have eaten one of those meat chickens and really do like the taste. So we'll probably be raising more of those in years to come. Folks might be wondering why we don't have the heat lamp set up this time. It's a warmer time of year. Plus, my shop is staying a little warm already because of Wendy's grow lights over in the bay window. One interesting thing about this batch of chickens, I specifically selected a variety of egg colors so we could get potentially a variety of egg layers. But every single one of these chickens is black and white. There must have been one dominant rooster responsible for fertilizing all of those eggs and his genetics really came through. As usual, we'll be raising these chicks inside where it's a little warmer for a while and then we'll move them out to the mini cooper mobile chicken coop don't worry i didn't forget about the big chickens this time of year with the weeds growing as fast as they are 
it seems a shame not to feed the chickens at least one big can of these weeds every single day.